Hey everybody, this is OnePegMG with another news update. So today we got BattleEye. It, it's happened. It's, it's happened all the way. <laughs> and uh, I'm smiling because it's actually doing what it's supposed to. Crazily enough, it works. Or it at least seemingly works for now. Uh, in a tweet this morning... Around the time that I actually decided to get online, uh, BSG released a tweet that said, in a few minutes, we plan to start installation of a technical update that will add BattleEye anti-cheat into Escape from Tarkov. The game will be stopped for about one hour. Now, there was a little bit of time there where it ended up getting extended by like 30 minutes, but no big deal. In fact, I think all in all, um, it might have been an hour and 10 minutes or something like that, that the servers were unavailable. Um, but then BattleEye was fired up. One thing that I did note, trying to get into a game as soon as BattleEye was installed, all of a sudden there were errors associated with the use of Reshade. For those of you that didn't know, I was someone that used Reshade just for the purpose of adding a little bit of uh, HDR level clarity and a little bit of vibrance to the game because the colors are kind of washed out. But at the end of it all, it ended up working out just fine. I did a reinstall of the game, kind of wiped out the, uh, the DLL files that were associated with Reshade, and the game works perfectly fine. For those of you worried about Reshade and whether or not that program is going to end up kind of screwing you over, to my knowledge, I have never seen in any of the games BattleEye is associated with a Reshade-related ban. More so, what they do is they block your ability to start the game in the first place or at least connect to any BattleEye-protected services. So in this case, if you want to play online, you're not going to be able to use BattleEye on the machine, on the game, when you want to use Reshade. I have no idea whether or not you'll be able to play on local games in and of yourself, just playing a little PvE, but I know that you will not be able to play online using it. There was a report that um, a couple of streamers like Quattro Ace, for instance, was able to play using Reshade. Someone said that if you install Reshade version 4.2.1, that you would be able to use Reshade again. But from what I understand regarding BattleEye is if you try to work around BattleEye, ultimately it will flag you uh, as trying to circumvent the anti-cheat system and it will end up banning you after that. So I would proceed with extreme caution regarding this. Uh, I kind of wish... Battlestate would have at least let us know in advance that they were not going to allow for reshade anymore, but I guess maybe that was the big surprise associated with the big surprise. Uh, I'm not really sure what to take on that. Uh, as far as I was aware, they weren't going to say or do anything about reshade, but perhaps it's just kind of baked into BattleEye and now they don't have a choice, which is why they didn't say anything about it. Or maybe it's an accidental thing that it is the way that it is and they'll release the handcuffs on reshade. Personally, I would rather see them leave it the way that it is. It reduces the ability for people potentially to be able to manipulate certain aspects of the game when it comes to what you can see versus what you can't. And I'm all for leveling the playing field. And if that means that everyone has a problem seeing, then so be it. Now, in the wake of the BattleEye installation, there was some kind of collateral damage, if you want to call it that, that has started to kind of surface. And it could just be some weird correlation between uh, BattleEye being installed and there not being as many players or possibly some panic kind of thing. Or it could just be there aren't that many players left waiting for the wipe. Um, but if you look on the market, things like the Cry Airframe, the oh, yeah, Chops, the Gen 4 Assault, uh, items like that are kind of getting snatched up. There aren't a whole lot of those items left for sale on the market anymore. They're kind of getting bought out right away. Uh, so one of the reasons behind this could be there just aren't that many cheaters farming like crazy in the game, putting things on the market and being in competition with each other to sell them for cheap. And the other potential reason could just be, like I said, there aren't that many people playing anymore. But this being what it is, if you're somebody that still plays Tarkov a lot, what I can tell you is uh, playing predominantly on the labs, I had three plus hours worth of gameplay today uh, of constant labs runs where the only shenanigans that were present were things that my chat was doing to me and had nothing to do with any interactions I had in the game. The other thing that looked like it might be coming out of this is if you think back about three 
maybe four podcasts ago, there was a statement that was made by Nikita following a major technical update for point 11, where we were supposed to have gotten a significant decrease in the number of stutters that we had. And that was true for a time. In his discussions, uh, and I believe this was actually an interview that he was doing with Pestily and Veritas, um, in that discussion, he did mention something about the anti-cheat getting an update back then, and the stutters might end up kind of resurging and causing issues again. And that's exactly what happened. And it feels like uh, every two to three minutes, in a lot of cases when I was doing my thing, at the very least, I was getting constant, constant, constant stuttering. With the advent of BattleEye, it looks like now that they've kind of taken their in-house anti-cheat offline, I'm not really getting stutters at all. And now, um, it seems like it's good, man. And what's, what's interesting, what's really interesting is uh, I haven't seen any stutters yet. Uh, they happen, but they tend to happen when, like, you get scav spawns and, you know, really intermittent, teeny tiny things. Uh, I actually turned on a counter and had my chat kind of track how many stutters they saw. And throughout the broadcast, uh, over that three-hour period, uh, they counted 10. So that is a far cry different from the 25 to 30 to 40 that I would typically have seen over that same time period. And for the people that are proficient in running labs and farming those PMC bots, regardless of the entry cost, there is a rather large bounty now associated with that. If you can get out some Gen 4s, it might now make sense to carry uh, a full fleshed out Gen 4 if you can get away with it and sell that thing for 250 to 300,000 rubles because it looks like that's how everything is trending. I don't know if this is going to come down again, economically speaking, but it looks like there's a shortage of armor being resold on the market now. Maybe because a lot of people are snatching it up to go try their hand at labs now that the cheaters are supposedly gone. That's what I've got, fellas. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the clips kind of running in the background. Those were actually from today's runs. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace.